Hey guys, how you doing? So somebody who's in HVAC and they're transitioning to web developer had a couple questions for me. So I'm going to read his posts on YouTube and we'll get to it. Hi, my name is Jan Paul. I'm 21 year old HVAC technician. And that currently also learning the early building blocks of web development for the past two weeks and also coding my as also coding my aspirations is to become is to combine what I know about HVAC and coding. So that's smart. He's an HVAC guy. He wants to go into web development and he realizes that if you can combine your previous professional experience, in this case HVAC, with your web development, it's a good combination. It will open up lots of opportunities once you get your web stuff up to speed. He says I've developed a good understanding of the concepts of HTML and putting to test what I know by doing side projects as I watch tutorials and problem solving and also implementing the concepts I'm learning constantly. After that, I'm moving to CSS, then JavaScript from then on. I just want to say, Steph, that uh, thank you for your videos and your guidance with both coding and financial advice. And if you do end up reading this, if there's any advice you have for me, and that goes for anyone else, it would be much appreciated. Thank you, thank you all, and wish all the best in your journey. So you're doing the right thing. When you go from career A to B, this case from HVAC to web, you want to transition. You don't want to kill off your uh, current cash cow. You don't want to cut off your income uh, that you're making now because you feel you want to get there faster as a developer. Uh, it's not the way to go. The way to go is to, is to be nice to yourself and to transition from A to B. Again, as I teach, all you need to do to move forward in uh, your career as a coder is minimum 20 minutes a day, maximum three to four hours a day, four to five days a week and you'll make progress. Yes, it won't be as fast as then if you did it full time, but you know what? When you're learning something new, there is a required gestation period, if you will, so that your brain can adjust to the whole new way of thinking. Because when you're learning how to code, you're learning a whole new way of thinking. Yes, yeah, so there's no point in rushing it. Again, daily consistent exposure. Don't burn yourself out. Take your time transition. Keep the money flowing in and slowly build up your new uh, skill set as a developer. Next question that comes to mind, people will say, well, when do I know when I can go full time as a developer? You'll know that because you have the skills, you will have, you will ha have at that point built hopefully at least a few projects and you start getting some uh, leads coming in. You know, what I would suggest that you do is uh, as the leads come in, as, you know, leads mean as the jobs come in, I'm assuming you're going to start off as a freelancer, although that is not necessarily what you need to do to get into code. But as the leads come in and these leads, these, what, this coding work is taking up more and more of your time, you can slowly reduce your, your time you put into the other work, you know, and, and to, for in this case, the HVAC work. So yeah, you're doing the right thing, 21, great age, uh, although, as I've laid out in one of my videos, uh, 50 and broke, should you learn to code? Coding is such a lucrative thing for so many people where they can increase their salaries by 50% or 100% or more within a few years. Uh, if you follow the financial advice I lay out for you, even if you're 50 years old, you can find yourself within a few years uh, sitting really pretty in terms of you know, retirement. Now, if you're 21 and you're listening to what I tell you, Ooh, you're in a really good position, really good position. If you're younger and you're feeling a little disheartened about you know, your finances or your prospects, don't. Don't be because you have the most valuable asset in the world you could possibly have. That's youth, you're young. I would give away all my money, everything, if I could be 21 again. Somebody said, yes, you, you have to pay up every dollar, every dime you've ever made, all your investments, all your savings. And Steph, you can be 21 again or 25 again or 30 again. I would say, no problem. Take it out. Let's go. I can do it. What's that old expression? They say, if, if only then I knew what I know now, that would be super powerful. Oh boy. 
if old Uncle Steph, that's me, could go back and talk to young cousin Steph and say, hey, cousin Steph, do this and this, follow this strategy, don't do that, she's bad news, she's, she's good news, and she's good news, and she's good news, but that one's bad news, that kind of stuff. Oh my God, it would be great. I say that, partly joking, because the fact of the matter is I'm pretty happy where I am, and I got here even with all my bad choices, you know? Uh, you're always gonna make bad choices in life, so don't beat yourself up over it. Recognize your bad choices and go, okay, I made a bad choice. Understand what you did, how the thinking was wrong, and just move on from there. Anyhow, so uh, yeah, if you're young, you're a little despondent, don't worry about it. Uh, you're young, don't worry. Just keep, follow, watch my back catalog of videos on YouTube, they're free. Learn the process of how to learn, how to approach your career, how to set you up, yourself up financially, physically, mentally. All these things are very important. Anyway, yeah, so to transition from HVAC technician to web coder or web developer or any type of developer, you do it as you're doing it. You learn, you learn a language or two, then you build some real things, you learn a little bit more, build real things. One of the traps you don't want to get into is becoming uh, involved or getting trapped into uh, tutorial hell. You don't want to be trapped in tutorial hell where you're forever doing tutorials. That's not a place to be. Too many people get caught up in that. And the reason they get caught up in that, well, two reasons. A, they hear about this YouTuber say this, and you, this Reddit poster says, oh, you got to learn this, you got to learn that, you got to learn this. And then they get, it's like almost like an, an analysis paralysis, a tutorial hell. You're just caught up. People telling you about all these things you got to learn. It's like a lot of the hot new technologies are, you'd be surprised how little they're used in the real world. So yes, don't get caught up in tutorial hell. Just get your fundamentals going. As I teach in my uh, mentoring program, my boot camp, we get you through the fundamentals, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, Python, SQL databases, PHP, and then we have you build things. You build your first site, your portfolio site, then you go out and do two, three, two to three little projects for clients. You run those properly, and then you're ready to go. You have this rec the required skills to get your foot in the door as a junior developer. You see, the great thing about being a developer once you get those core, once you get those key fundamentals down, uh, then you get paid to learn everything else. Fantastic. If you want to learn more from me, take a look at the links below. I do have a boot camp and mentoring program. I also have self-learning courses with my interactive platform. Unlike uh, so many people out there, I actually have a training platform that I developed from scratch working with hundreds and hundreds of schools over the years. It's a refined, interactive training platform, very different from anybody else out there. It's almost like having a live virtual teacher beside you at all times. It's really very effective in terms of learning anything, really. The key to learning to code is to master the fundamentals. The fundamentals, don't confuse them for basics. Fundamentals include the basics, but there's a whole bunch of other things involved as well. Once you have these fundamentals, the world of code is your oyster and you will be able to pivot into any coding development specialization you want to. All right, I hope you found this useful. My name is Steph.